What's up guys, it's Mike Glenn 977 here to give you a review of Mario Kart 8 for an Nintendo Wii U and exclusive. So, basically, I'm going to just say right now, I'm a huge Mario Kart fan. Even have Mario Kart Wii uh, for the only time, but this is not the only one I play, of course. I play 64's version, GameCube version called Double Dash. That one, in my fact, is actually one of my favorite Mario Kart games yet. Then there was Game Boy, DS, and 3DS, which uh, I played before, and it was a really good game as well. But now is their newest title, Mario Kart 8. Does it live up to the hype? In my opinion, it does. But it does suffer from little issues that I will go into later. But first, a lot of uh, graphic horrors out there, whoever love their graphics, they want to know, how does this game do with its visuals? Well, I'm going to say right now that this game is visually outstanding. You can see the details, like, in here, let me show you. See this? That's detail right there. In 1080p and 60 frames per second, like for two players in split screen, you will see great detail in this game. Just like the other games with 60 frames per second, like Mario Kart Wii, this game is on 60 frames per second, but it cuts to two players. When it cuts to three or four players, when you do split screen, it will drop to 30 frames per second. This is something that Nintendo hasn't really figured out yet, I think, or it's just a limit that they have for this system. But whoever, it doesn't matter, in my opinion, because I always play it by myself, just for that fun, this gameplay experience, in my opinion. So, maybe ask me, is this the only way you can actually play Mario Kart? Well, of course, no. You can also play with the Wii U Pro Controller, which I, did, I this is my second choice of playing. Uh, you can also play with the Wii Remote and Nunchuck. You can also add it together. You can also get a Classic Controller Pro and attach it to this Wii Remote, and that's what you get. Or, if you have the old one from Mario Kart 6 or Mario Kart Wii, you can use the Wii Wheel, or the new one that they just released for the bundle for Mario Kart 8. Um, so, the thing is, if, uh, um, that's all I gotta say right now, and if you do not know the choices, the choices are on the back of the screen, right here. That's the good thing about the game. You can also use the gamepad to actually two ways, you can actually use the joysticks here, or you can use tilting controls. Now, I use tilting controls for this experience, and let me just say, I'm not the biggest fan for a gyroscope experience, I like to stay still and do it, like, not that much, but in my opinion, I actually enjoyed it, it was actually fun to use. But if you're one of those persons that like the Wii Wheel more better, then you're gonna like the Wii Wheel a lot more better. Like I said there. See? Um, so how is it when it comes to gameplay? Visually and all the control options I gave you. That's a lot of variety for control options, so that's good. How does it come to the gameplay? Well, it's actually they actually balance it a lot more in my opinion. In the old Mario Kart games, I used to get blue shells so much and it hit so much at times that I got mad at the expert. But this one I didn't get too mad at. At the uh, 50, 100, 100 cc levels, I didn't notice that many problems of like rubber banding and all that stuff that happened in the old games because they really balanced it out here, so you don't really get that many problems with this experience. And may I just uh, state for the um, fact that there's also new um, weapons that you can use this game. You still have the fire weapons from Mario Kart 7. They did take out the Tanuki tail, which really pissed me off because I love the Tanuki. And now they added the new weapons, I'll say right now, is the boomerang. Which actually you throw it actually three times. You know, it's basically a limit. Three times you can only use it. Then you throw it forward. But if you miss this person, if you miss a racer that's going forward, it'll come back and it'll hit someone either in front of you or behind you. That's kind of a cool ability. Then there's also the piranha plant, which I thought was a really cool idea. Which really, it really, really does is you hold a plant, you pick it, you activate the ZL or Z, yeah ZL button, and basically the plant comes out and it starts biting everything around you. So it'll bite a character or it'll bite like a coin, you get a coin. And every the time it bites, it, it speeds you up, you get a little boost. Now that was really helpful when it comes to me getting like an ass kicked a lot. And it was really useful in games. And then the last one um, is the super horn or the sound horn, whatever it's called. Now this is the only thing that can stop a blue shell from blowing you up. Now this is the best weapon in my game because other than the other weapon I'll talk about later. But the super horn is actually really cool because if you can use it to like hit like people around you, so the races like crowding around you, having weapons, you press that button, blows up around them, they all like go flying all over the place. It's super funny when really you see that happen. <coughs> I just recovered from a cough, so here's me talking. And um, then you also used to deflect the blue shell. Like in every other game, you can deflect the blue shell. It's impossible. If you hear a blue shell coming, you're screwed. But in Mario Kart 8, they basically give you a chance to deflect that and get rid of it for good. And that's when the, the sound comes in. Susan's right about to hit you, tap that button, boom!
boom, the blue shell's gone, you don't have to worry about it. Unless another one, unless another character throws another blue shell at you, then you're screwed, unless they find another blue one. But it's rarely rare to actually get that when you're in first place. Now, con the control eyes, I really thought the control was actually slick and smooth, they actually worked well, especially with the game cut. But it, people may be saying, oh, it's too big on my hands and I can't really deal with it. I actually found it really useful and it really worked after like five minutes. It was really useful and it's really easy to get used to, in my opinion. Now, the biggest thing that I'm really talking about here are the tracks. I'll go back to retreat. Uh, before I go into tracks, sorry about going off topic, but I also forgot to mention the Super 8, which is kind of a tradition of um, the Mario Kart franchise now. After Mario Kart 7 released uh, Lucky 7, you now have the Super 8, which is in this one. Is eight weapons out of well, you get the star, you get blue shell, there's no, no blue shell, green shell, red shell, you get a bomb, you get a squid, you get a star, already said the star, um, you get a banana peel, so that's good for you to eat, and you get the coin, and the coin is back from Mario Kart 7, and so it's a customization of your cars, which actually got a stack system where you can look around and actually customize the car, customize the glider, the wheels, and the actual design of it, so it could be a car or a bike. Which I'm glad is bad, because I kind of missed the bikes in Part 7. And the biggest, um, that's like the kind of cool ideas that I have. And the coin basically unlock new characters and cart parts. And basically unlock new maps and new cars along. Now, the biggest thing I thought was the best thing about this was the track levels. And the anti-gravity racing that you see in this picture here. And that's actually on the poster, and actually on the cover for my credit. So, what's the best thing about this is that... The developers actually did a good job with actually making the tracks be upside down, sideways, and your your wheels actually turn sideways into hover wheels, and they basically like hover around, and it's kind of cool. Now this really did blow my mind when I first heard about it, because I didn't think they'd actually do this for a while, <coughs> but they actually did it. It worked well, it, it's really well done, and it doesn't feel problematic at all. It actually is like some of the best racing, and some of the best levels that Nintendo has done in a really long time. Not only does these like anti-gravity levels come into the place in the new levels, but they also show up in the nostalgic levels, like the GameCube levels, Game Boy levels, Wii levels, 3DS levels. They're basically in all the levels at times, and they may be there for only for one second or two, but you still notice it, it's just that well. And also for those people that love the Rainbow Roads, you only, you only get two Rainbow Roads in this one, a nostalgic one and a new one. Now I'm not going to say anything about those roads because you want to play them for yourself, because they're just outstanding. Now, um, game, like I said, control-wide, it's, it's really well done, gameplay is well done, track variety is outstanding with the new tracks. I kind of get upset about the fact that Nintendo always takes a long time for these market games to come out, like the time of release has always been upset for me, and I felt like it wasn't always done well. But, I understand why they have to do it because of how they have to do the design of the levels and the tracks, but in my opinion, it still pays off in Nintendo. Um, uh, the, now we have to go into the multiplayer levels of, um, online multiplayer, because a lot of people do think about how is online going to work for this experience. Now, I'm going to say, it's mostly well done here, mostly. Let me go to the goods here. I actually have notes on this. Um, now this game offers 12 players online multiplayer. You also play with one player or two players. What this means is, you can have a part buddy sit next to you, like my brother can sit next to me, we can both play online at 60 frames per second, and we won't notice any technical hiccups. Now let's talk about the goods before I go deep into the bad. Because if I go into the bad, I'm going to lose myself. So here it is. You have your basic features. You can, it's easy to join a race at any time. There's a regional and worldwide option. So you can play with just, like, if I'm in New York, and I can play people that's in Pennsylvania, North Carolina, or, can, or Canada. So what about you, eh? And, um, sorry about that. Um, you can also play it like that, or you can do worldwide, so you can be like someone from Germany, someone from, if they have the game already, Germany, it can be someone from Japan, and me, and tons of the racers, and you just like fighting it out, duking it out for first place, third place, and second place. And it's just fun to do. Um, so it's easy to join races, and it's really good. Money. <coughs> it's also good, easy to set up a tournament, which is also a tournament set up here. There's also recommended tournaments that you can try out. I can try it on one, I did all of them. Because I'm not like that good other, compared to other races out there. And it's also really easy to hop, upload highlight meals on your races to YouTube. And my, I actually set up a few videos of um, YouTube videos of me playing Mario Kart. Some of my first time experience. 
and some are later on, like I did this morning. I see it put up another two, I believe. Uh, one from Wario Stadium, which is on DS. The other one was on 64, I believe. I basically got four or five of them already. I wonder if you guys should actually check it out. It's on my YouTube channel. If you ever watch this channel, if you ever watch any of my videos. I just want you guys to check it out just for like a little while. So it's only last about a minute max. And that's really awesome, but I wish they could have done more with the editing. Because um, Mario Kart TV is really where you could highlight and watch your videos in slow motion. And detail it, and you can edit it, and do whatever you want with it. But you can't really upload a full race on, on YouTube. You only upload a 30 second, 60 minute max race on YouTube. That's it. That's the only thing you can do here. Now, that's the best thing about it so far. Now let's go into the bad things about this. Now it's kind of it has to do with Nintendo's attitude about online race or online. Now the biggest problem here is chat. You know, game chat. Like if I wanted to use this damn thing right here. Chat is restricted in this experience. You know what that means? You can't talk to other people's inner race. You're going to talk to ch uh, you can only chat in lobbies with only your friends. So if they're not your friends and they're not in a lobby, fuck you, you can't chat to them. You gotta actually be that friend and chat to them first before you actually do this. This is ridiculous, number one. I'm gonna go further into it. This is the worst part here. You can't even invite your friends into a game. It's, a, it's, it's impossible to do that because you know what happens? You can make a private party, right? It says create a, a private party for your friends only. Here's the thing. You can't invite the friends to the party. They basically have to guess which one of their friends is online and luckily join their party if, the, if it happens. And luckily, I tried to go online. I had a few friends online. I tried to say join, my, join the race. I tried to join their races. Nothing happens. There's no message notifications for this. This is just basic features of multiplayer. They don't really add any real features. This is just kind of disappointing itself right here. Um, <coughs> it's so stupid, number one. Just, how can Nintendo let this slip by for network features where online network um, connections and everything is so important for online racing game like this one? What it took a while to get. I mean, it's been two years since the launch of the Wii U. We get this, and the online, con like, Features are lackluster? That's ridiculous. It, it's ridiculous, number one. It's just bad overall. The online is good when it comes to racing. There's never a laggy moment, apart when I had glitches or problems. It's may change or ver, ver, vary from other racers, but that's it. That's the only problem I have with it overall. The race, the everything is good, but it's just the feature that they give us is bad. There's no chat. Seriously, you can only talk to your friends and they're online. You can't talk to anyone in the middle of a race. I understand why they're doing that because they don't want like to have the same thing of Call of Duty. Like, oh, screw you, dude. I'll eat a dick. Oh, your uh, your mom I screwed her last night. But it's not. You know, come on, Nintendo. Be a little be be a little bit not restrictive. Don't like try to hold our heads and tell us what to do with that type of stuff. Come on, let us actually have a little bit of freedom when it comes to network and playing online with our friends. We want to play with our friends, we actually want to play with them. We can't even invite our friends into a game. I couldn't invite any of my friends to a game. At least I have to play with strangers the entire time. Not that strangers are bad, but... I just want to play with a friend once in a while, and I couldn't. Like, we're not doing right now. I couldn't play with a friend. Because they're so busy and all that stuff. And there's another problem I have with the game. It's, um... In the single, uh... Multiple features. The battle mode is just bad in my opinion. It's not really that good. It's actually not really uh, good at all. Um, the, how the hell did you get in here, dog? The problem is, is the arena tracks in this, there is no arena tracks. They basically took out the arena tracks and instead added just normal races from old games. Well, not, not, um, they basically added new tracks and what they did here is basically you just race on the track and if you encounter someone on the opposite team, you hit them, but these track last three minutes, and the timers goes by real quickly to the point where you actually lose, and it's just kind of disappointing overall. That's not the. Let me just get rid of that. You know, let me just leave it. Here's the problem with this: is in the old games, like in Mario Kart 7, Mario Kart 6, or any of the other Mario Karts, like DS. There was an arena, like a giant area where it was like this big area. So, like for example, for DS version, 
You'll be on a DS, and you you restricted to that area. If you fell off, you screwed up of yourself. That's your fault. Here, there is no. You may see a race on track like this one right here, like Mario Circuit. You can race on this, and first, and it's not even restricted. It's not. It's just like the open track, and you may see this race along. And if you see that, you hit them, and it takes a while. And if you try to go like reverse, they're already gone. It's so bad. I just don't understand why they did this choice, in my opinion. I do like the idea of it, but I wish it was restricted to the point where they just added the arenas. Hopefully this can be fixed in the DLC update when they can add the arena tracks back. Hopefully they fix this. They may fix the score of my opinion. Still saying that though, it's not a bad game overall. The main thing that's important is gameplay and controls. Visually, I wouldn't give a damn if it was 720p. If it was 720p, I would still enjoy it overall. But that's not the main point of my opinion. Visuals aren't that important to me. If it was like garbage and it ran horribly, then it would be a big point. But that's not it. In my opinion, gameplay is important, and what they give us is important as well. And that's the main problem here. Especially when it comes to the multiplayer. It's just basic. It's basically like having a Ferrari, like a hot car like Mario has right here. But instead of having a badass radio, they give it an old radio from the 1920s, and that plays only five songs, they gotta listen to them over and over and over again. That's what it's like, if you ever know what I'm talking about. But overall, Mario Kart 8 isn't a bad game by any means necessary. And actually, I agree with a lot of the reviews who give it 9 out of 10s. And if you give it 8.5, I understand your reasoning for that as well. But in my opinion, I just don't think that the review should be too harsh on this. And the fact of the matter is, that's that it, in my opinion. I don't know why I'm going off and talking about this. But the biggest problem here is the multiplayer's features. The main racing itself on multiplayer is not bad by any means necessary. So, that's my problem. Whew, got that done. That's not really a big problem in my opinion, but that's it. So the final verdict of this game, I would have given it an 8 out of, 8.5 out of 10. But they still gave me some features to do in multiplayer, and the main mechanics and driving and everything here is good. And that's just a good thing. So I'm going to have to give it a 9 out of 10 in my opinion, just for it to be a great Mario Kart game. It's so fun to race in this game. It's just good. So, 9 out of 10. Um, I do say, really, by this game, it's, I, I hope this can save the Wii U from damnation. Because the Wii U needs to do good. And if this game does not help it, then you better pray to God that Super Smash Brothers, when it comes out for Wii U, will save it from death, to be honest. Uh, this game really has a lot of good ideas for it, and some innovation is done here. But it's literally like too many chances as the GameCube version, called Double Dash. <coughs> and the roster itself is good, and you keep your players as your meat character, but I wish that they actually changed some of the baby characters. For example, if he was Elena, and Baby Daisy and Peach, they're, they're just like add-ons, in my opinion. I do like Rosalina as a racer and the little baby Mario Luigi, but having so many damn babies, it's just like they're all the same no matter what. Um, so, 9 out of 10 in my opinion. I, um, actually, here's the thing about this game. If, I'm gonna actually tell you guys this now, because I actually put a post on Facebook about this, and no one actually knew this about that much. But, if you buy the game new, it will come with this code right here. Now, don't even try to type this in, because I already used it by the time I bought it in. Alright, so you use this code. And, but here, you have to sign up for ClubNintendo.com. Now, if you sign up for ClubNintendo.com, you'll basically uh, fill in this code for Mario Kart 8. They'll say that you put it in. And you can actually pick a choice of what four games to download on your Wii U for free. Only one game, though. So here are the choices that you can pick, though. The choices are Pikmin 3, Wind, uh, Windmaker HD, which is Legend of Zelda. You can also get Wii Party U, or Super Smash Bros. U. That's the four choices you can get. Now, I already put my card in already. I already put this code in. And I, I got Wind Waker HD. So that's the thing. It's, this thing will, this little competition of giving away free games will actually expire on July 31st. That's when this entire thing will expire. And if you put it in on August 1st, you will not get a free game. So this is, might be a big way of actually saying, I'm going to get this game. And actually, because of this actually being an offer from Nintendo, I actually had a lot of crashes on my computer trying to set this damn thing up. I set it up five times in order for it to work. I was going to do a rant about it, but it but actually passed off in the end. And now, let me just show you guys. 
What's up, big boy? That's my dog right here. He's uh, being nosy as hell. Um, hang on, let me just show you guys. Let's just look at the beautiful match. I now have Legend of Zelda Wind Waker HD free and downloaded on my Wii U. That is an amazing deal for Nintendo. And if they continue this with their other games, then this is going to be a big sell for Nintendo. And it's going to save Nintendo from falling down. It's going to save the Wii U, literally. Now, now, if the, if you already had those other games, you always do a little competition to give them away or not. That's all up to you, though. So, overall, I give it a 9 out of 10. It's a great Wii U time. I just gave it information in case you did not know about it. If you did not know about it, you can also check Nintendo Direct from... April 30th, which is uh, the Mario Kart 8 Direct, you can check that out, it also has information. Um, really simple though, I really do say, I recommend to buy this game, and if you have any of these other type of remotes, then you could try them out, then because then you can have like more than 4 players to play with, so that's a good thing to do. So, 9 out of 10, please like the video, comment below, and subscribe, also follow me on Facebook and Twitter, I'm on there all the time, I get notifications every single day, so that's a good thing for me. So I can actually um, communicate with the community out there. And if you ever watch my videos, that'd be nice of you. Thank you. You also like this video. You also like my other videos of Mario Kart 8 of me playing on the Wii U for the first time um, in HD and those all new tracks. You can check them out. And you could, um, that's it basically. So, bye guys. My next review. Um, I know I said I'll be reviewing Walking Dead Season 2 and Wolf Among Us Season 1. And I'll be doing videos straight today and tomorrow. Uh, soon videos of uh, wrapping all that stuff up, and I'll also be reviewing X Men: Days of Future Past, um, and all that stuff. So I'm gonna be like really busy just trying to do that and playing games all day. I also got this when I pre-ordered Mario Kart 8, so this is what you get as a little bonus for pre-ordering the game. I got this; I haven't ripped it yet, so that's a good thing, right? So yeah, like the video, guys. Comment below, subscribe, bye, and all that stuff. Drop a wee bye.